Asante sana. Omune biga bomet. Bwana asifiwe. Viongozi wa kanisa tunashukuru sana maombi ya leo. Rais wetu William Ruto thank you. Asubuhi nilisema sikuachi na umenileta mpaka hapa. Nikiwa Bomet, unajua hewa ya Nairobi sio kama ya hapa. Hapa nasikia ni kama niko holiday. Hewa ni safi. Hata rais ndacha urudi mimi nitakaa kidogo ili nikule hewa safi ya Bomet. Thank you so much. As the chair of the clergy said, in this government the church is not a by the way. Praying to God is not a by the way. You have taught us to put God at the center of everything that we do and we thank you for that example because you have taught us not to be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Asante sana. Hata wiki ijayo tuko na maombi kama haya Nairobi ambao tunaleta viongozi wote wa kanisa pia tuombe na iendelee katika taifa letu. Bishop Ngetich, thank you for that sermon. I think that is the reason that Rais alisema tuje. That sermon is so timely. Kwanza ningependa kusema pole kwa Deliverance Church. Najua wiki iliyopita tumemzika eh, mwanzilishi wa Deliverance Church, Apostle Joe Kayo, um, kule Nairobi. So mpokee risala za rambi rambi zetu to the entire Deliverance Church and the entire evangelical fraternity in this country. Because Apostle Kayo ndio aliongoza zile enzi za zamani kuleta injili na kusambaza injili. But Bishop Ngetich ile kitu umesema ni ukweli. Tunahitaji amani. We need peace and peace will help us fulfill that which God has planned for the people of Kenya. It reminds me of John 14:27. That God said, Jesus said, my peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Even when times are uncertain, hata kama hatujui kesho itakuwa aje, we may not know what the future holds, but we know who holds the future, and that is God Almighty. Thank you, Your Excellency, for leading us in that way. And in the same breath, Your Excellency, sisi kama viongozi na watu wa Kenya, tuko na imani na captain ambaye ameshikilia steering wheel ya taifa letu, Rais William Samoe Ruto. Kuneza kuwa na mawimbi hapa na pale, kuna kelele hapa na pale, but we are confident that the captain who is holding the steering wheel of this country is a sober man, is a solid man. Umeinua brand ya Kenya kule juu sana. Tumepata marafiki. Juzi nikiwa inje, wakisikia tu umetoka Kenya kila mtu wanakuja kwa kwa. Anasema, how is William Ruto? You have given us pride at the nation, at the seat of tables, at the, at the table of nations. That as Kenyans, now we shine as a country. Endelea kufanya hivyo. Na usijali yokelele ambao watu wanapiga. Your Excellency, before you won the election, ulitembea kila county, we had bottom-up economic forums. Ulisikia mahasla, ulisikia walimu, ulisikia wafanyi biyashara, ulisikia wakulima. We came up with the plan, a manifesto. What Aaron is saying is very disconcerting. No matter what you negotiate, please, Your Excellency, do not deviate from the plan. Stick to the plan. Stick to the agenda it is bearing fruit. Sisi kama governors baratuka atakuambia, kwa mara ya kwanza, tunapata pesa at the right time. It has never happened in history. Money comes to the counties every month as it should come. We have seen you have employed 56,000 teachers. Sisi Nairobi, unajua Nairobi ni shamba ya mawe. Atulimi, lakini vile umepunguza fertilizer, tununa chakula sasa inakuja Nairobi kwa wingi, naomba muendele kulima na mnayo. Thank you for what you are doing. Stick to it. Do not deviate from that plan. Kwa sababu ya muda sitasema mengi zaidi, lakini your excellency be assured of our support. Let us continue delivering to our people. We know. Unajua, tukiwa na watu wa kanisa. Wakati tulitafuta kiti tulikuwa tunaomba. Na ni mungu wali tupatia ushindi. Kama henge kuwa mungu, hatu ngepata. But just know, Philippians 1.6 says, He who began a good work in you will be faithful to bring it to completion. Wanayesu, mwenyezi mungu, haku tupa ushindi, ili tuku tupa ushindi. He didn't give us victory just for the sake of winning. Even now, he is with you as you govern this country and we shall continue praying. Your Excellency, unajua mimi ni mtu wa makwaya. Na mimi napena makwaya. Leo wa meimba, ni mefurai sana. Ningependa kuwa shukuru. Na ningependa kuwa patia za wadiki. Dogo tu, zile kwaya ambazo zi meimba, at least mkunyo soda ya kanairo. Sindio? At least mpate ka soda ya kanairo. Ndaupatia, nafikiri zilikuwa kwaya tatu. 
e, ya kwanza nitaupatia 1000 ya soda ya pili 1000 lakini ya tatu hiyo excellence kwa ya Sotik Catholic Church hiyo kwa ya wanaenda kilifi kwa mashindano ningependa kuwapatia ile soda ya barabara mkipita Nairobi mkunywe soda na muendelea I'll give you 30000 shillings ya safari yenu and I'll ask your excellency pia wewe najua ndo unaweza unaweza wamalizia maneno yao wakifika kilifi wakae na starehe na kwa hiyo competition tafadhali mkuwe namba 2 msishinde Nairobi please that is all that is all that I will ask you muwe tu namba 2 msishinde Nairobi kwa yetu tumepanga kabisa watu wa Bomet tunawapenda sana mkiwa Nairobi mje mjue mko nyumbani sawa sawa nisalimie watu wa Nairobi na mkija Nairobi mjue mambo ni matatu ya kwanza ni mwakaribisha ingia kwa hoteli yoyote Nairobi ya pili itisha chochote kwa hoteli Nairobi useme sakaja amewatuma sawa sawa lakini ya tatu kabla ya kutoka ulipe bili yako bwana wabariki Asante sana excellency